Once you do this, a certain way you gotta untangle them. And this is a skip tooth blade on here, they call it. It has a blade every three links instead of every other link so it's used for faster cutting all right I'll try it out my first time using one of these ones so I'll give it a try throw this on the saw real quick come on brother get in there all right there we go got it in the Got it where it's supposed to go now. Just gotta tighten it up. Sweet. Always lose my nuts. You never get used to this talking to the camera stuff. You're always like, is anybody behind me or anything listening to me talk to myself? It's very tight right now, so we'll loosen it up so. Said you're gonna have a little bit more sag in these chains. Because they're longer. You know, can't put them as tight. So they're gonna look saggy compared to like a 16 or an 18 inch chain. But got it put together finally. Should be good there. It's gonna loosen up anyways as I start cutting, just because it's a new chain. But there it is. Got the 25 inch on there and that makes a huge difference already just for transport and everything but all right we're gonna go over to log we'll get it marked up and we'll get to cut all right so we got the mingo marker out have it set to 16 inches we'll just set the wheel start here work our way down there's our first one the second one Yeah, there's our marks. Perfect 16 inch pieces every time. Nice and uniform. And this thing's nice if you have these kind of logs and those kind of logs over there, you just roll it down and mark it. Some people get picky with like, no, oh, there's paint on my wood, but whatever. Those are the kind of customers you don't want to sell to anyways. So we'll get set up and we'll get to cutting. <laughs>
All right, guys, I finished making the cuts on here. I couldn't get it all on video because these GoPro batteries really freaking suck. They're like terrible, especially in cold weather. They just drain. So I made a huge mistake on the new chain. I let it get too loose and it sagged and came off the track and it dulled the chain out already. So it's hard to tell on these longer bars when the chain comes loose. It was cutting like normal and then I went to go make another cut and chain just loosened right up and dulled right out. So I got to cut up. I'm going to roll it with the Bobcat real quick and we'll finish cutting the bottoms. It's almost cut all the way through everywhere. So I'll do that real quick.
got that log the other day that big one I was showing you got that all cut up and split up with the 461 I'll put a little bit of video of that in this but here's most of the wood from it it's a eight foot bed full and it's a dump insert so it fits a lot more so that's probably about two and a half face cords ish thrown in there like that but it's just gonna go since it's wet and it's not dried I don't want it sitting around here so I'm giving it to the guy that I sell chunks to that has the wood burner but it's all nice maple really nice stuff it's nice and heavy he said the wetter the better so he likes his stuff wet I guess because it lasts way longer but really nice load nice and heavy heavy Chevy handling it though no problem but right, we're gonna get this out to him it's about a half hour drive so I get this out to him he'll be real happy with this stuff there's a little bit of pine at the bottom that I mixed in there just to get rid of it but he burns whatever he'll burn garbage in his wood burner so all right we're gonna get it out to him get a video of it dumping Smack the brakes. Hang on. So as you can see, that's pretty much the whole process from <clears throat> one big log to one big truckload of heat for somebody. And as you can see, one of these videos takes multiple days to record and multiple hours. So if you guys can smash that subscribe button, that'd be awesome. Like, comment, share. I like responding to you guys. Let me know what you like, what you don't like, some suggestions. Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you guys on the next one.